hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to fix spider-man 2 errors let's fix it guys go to search menu and type settings click on open it on left side select gaming on right side select game bar make sure the game bar is stand off and then go back to gaming and select a game mode inside the graphics option and optimize for windowed games just turn on this and advanced graphics setting turn on the hardware accelerator gpu scheduling and then select the add desktop app and navigate to the game location guys in my case i saved in c drive here is the game select the game ext file and select add option after adding the game you just need to select the game and in gpu preference click on the drop down and select high performance and then just close stuff here and right click on the game and select open file location in the game location you just need to right click on blank area and select new and select text document in text document you just need to type command line and press enter and this is a text document just double click on it and you just need to type dash dx11 and click on file and select save option after saving it just to close stuff here and then let's try to go on the game application and select properties and go to compatibility tab and check mark run this program in a compatibility mode for windows 8 disable full screen optimization and run this program as an administrator and select a change high dpi settings and check mark this override high dpi scaling behavior and select application and select ok and select apply and ok for say changes and then you just need to double click on the game and open it go to settings and in monitor click on the drop down and select the correct monitor and window mode set the exclusive full screen display resolution set this to lowest and expect ratio auto and upscaling method if you have dlss then you just need to turn off this guys and upscale quality set to performance and video reflex low latency set this to on plus boost frame generation off refresh rate set this to 60 vsync turn it off and then go to graphics preset set this to very low and ray tracing preset set to off and uncheck these all the effects and then click on ok and select the play of the game and now the game will launch in the lowest resolution you just need to go to all settings and uh, go to graphics and uh, display set this display resolution to ever monitors resolution in my case uh, 1920 into 1080 after changing the resolution select the option and uh, select the accept option and now it's so clear to ever monitor and now just uh, scroll down and frame generation turn it on to fsr 3.1.0 frame generation and upscaling method dlss upscaling quality performance dynamic resolution scaling set this to 60 and then go to graphics texture quality set this to medium and uh, texture filtering set this to 2x shadow quality very low everything here off just need to scroll down camera effects bloom just turn on chromatic abrasion turn it on and vignette turn it on and now everything's okay select the place option select the accept option and now you can play the game guys so just need to check my video description for this video link to make the game even more run smoother you just need to update the graphics driver guys so after updating the graphics driver by following this video you can enjoy the game peacefully no problem at all if you still having any issues like black screen or crashing problem then a solution shared from reddit you just need to I click on the game and select open file location and find two files in the game folder called 
dstorage.dll, dstorage-core.dll. Just cut this both file and paste it in the desktop and launch the game. Now the game actually launched. And lots of people has been mentioned that this fixed for them crashes and black screen. Game opens up, guys. And as you can see, don't forget to leave a like, guys. Thank you.